matrix. It's a collection of numbers represented in a two dimensional array in rows and columns. And here we have m rows and n columns. It's a matrix A with the order m by n, where m represents the rows and n represents columns. And generally, we use a capital letter to represent the matrix and small letters to represent the elements. If I have an element A with position ij, here i represents row and j represents the column position. Let's take an example to understand this. Here we have three matrices P, Q, and R. P has three rows 1, 2, and 3, and three columns 1, 2, and 3. Therefore, we write P as 3 by 3. And look at Q. Q has 1, 2, 3, three rows and one single column. Therefore, we're going to write Q 3 by 1. On the same lines, R will be 2 by 3 because two rows and three columns. And suppose I want to find an element, maybe some P21. Uh, so P21 means the element in second row, first element. So second row, first column. So this is the element. Therefore, this is 3. And maybe here I want to find Q31. That's third row, first element, which is 1. And maybe here R22, which is 5. Based on the way the elements are arranged, we can define different types of matrices. The first type is a square matrix, in which the number of rows is equal to the columns. For example, A1 by 1, it has one row, one column. B is 2 by 2, two rows, two columns. And C is 3 by 3, three rows, three columns. Here we have equal number of rows and columns. Therefore, these are square matrices. The second type is scalar matrix, in which the non diagonal elements are zeros. Look at this. This is a scalar matrix. We have few elements in the diagonal, and other elements are zeros. Therefore, it's a scalar matrix. The third type is identity. It's basically a scalar matrix with the diagonal elements as one. This is an identity matrix of order two, and this is an identity matrix of order three. The fourth type is a null matrix where all elements are zeros. This is a null matrix of order 2 and this is a null matrix of order 3. The next one is upper triangular matrix. In this, the lower of diagonal elements are zeros. Let me show this with an example. In this matrix, the elements lower than the diagonal elements are zeros. This sort of a matrix is called a upper triangular matrix. On the same lines, if the upper of diagonal elements are zeros, then it would be called as a lower triangular matrix.